Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to going to episode 9 of I Got to Want for Eight. Gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Wait, Yeah, we're still trying to figure out that, you know, your sister has been, not really even MIA, your sister been around, but your sister just don't want to say anything for reasons, because I guess she doesn't want to spoil the fun. Yeah, you're on a boat. <laughs> I just want to know, how did you get here? Because the door, too? <laughs> really? <laughs> That is a really good way to start an episode. I need more shows to do something like that. Kind of ended on a weird little cliffhanger. And then I'm like, here's the opening. Your sister. <laughs> How did you? <laughs> Idol pirates. I don't think they would eat you. Hmm? I mean, you got five, no, I'm about to say five. Four out of what, the six protagonists all here together? Mm-hmm. Because you need Yume and you need um, Akari. Mm -hmm. For the school. <laughs> oh my god, 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 oh my god,
What's wrong? I'm here. I'm coming. Okay, Miku, how in the world did you get here? From the door, too? Where's Mizuki? So, oh, hey, hold up. Wait. That means something. How in the world could Elsa already go ahead and meet Mikuru? Something about that's not right. But see, that time traveling aspect again that I've been talking about the last few weeks. <laughs> Look at Ichigo. <laughs> Only Ichigo. <laughs> oh, let's thank God nothing bad happened. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, who else would have been able to do it besides you? I heard the scene. <laughs> so 
final phase. What are you exactly trying to do, though? You're going to bring them all together? But wait, what about Neo Venus arc? I mean, it's a good idea that she wants to bring all the worlds together. But then you got to think about Neo Venus Ark. Is Neo Venus Ark on a dang ship? No, no, no. She just wants to examine you. Yeah, I'm gonna be the kid. No. Just where is she? Oh my god, we're 11 minutes into this episode. Where's she at? Girl I ain't show up anywhere yet. <laughs> Means get on the dang ship too. Mizuki. She's all the way over there. Mizuki, oh my god. <laughs> my baby. Look at her. <laughs> Then you say in here. Yeah, but are you going to perform by yourself or, yeah.
I love this song too freaking much. Oh my god. <laughs> this is my ish. I played it all summer when it came out. It's just mm. That makes so much sense that that name would be that. <laughs>
Mm. <laughs> of course. You are not. But hold on, how are you guys? What? <laughs> so I just gonna go to New York and then give them a plane to fly back home. Okay. Yeah, I mean, since your sister is bringing the worlds together, it'll be a lot easier instead of going to the doors all the time. Your home. See? <laughs> that means you got, like, the worlds are now together, officially. That has to be. Oh my god! <laughs> what in the world? So you're basically telling me now all the schools are together. Bruh. Oh my god, my song. My jam. Okay. What the heck is happening? I love the fact that, you know, all the worlds are coming together, especially with the fact it's like, when Mio Venus are, they were just out to sea. And then, you know, Mio gets rained, her phone rings, and then Tamaki's there like, where the heck are you? Girl, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I love the fact that her sister wants to bring all these, like, cut two worlds together, but then it still feels weird. It feels weird to see star harmony like other schools with other students interact with all of them it, <laughs> what is going on i love it but it still feels weird as heck i don't know how to like feel about this i still like it though music performing. <laughs> oh my god can we just stop right there and i mean elsa was right three out of the four girls were perfect Rocky needs to practice. And I mean, essentially every single week she is getting her practice, which is good. It's not bad. She is coming into her own, but she needs a little more time. So what I'm kind of hoping is in these next few episodes is that they stay in their own world and don't go anywhere. Maybe a couple of times, but I mean, she needs to be in her own environment. And yeah, I, I think, you know, we're going to see literally all these other idols start to interact with all these other girls when it comes to next week's episode, but oh my god, <laughs> I just can't. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm thinking maybe <laughs> they were interacting with oh my god. <laughs> happening i can't it's just so it's too much yeah, oh my god just imagine i mean even though like Hime is more of a cute idol i still want her to interact with mizuki because like i feel like her and mizuki are on that top level even though they consider elza and hibiki very similar to mizuki and because of the fact is like i think it was either last week or two weeks ago i was on youtube and i saw the video of Mizuki, Hibiki, and Elsa singing the Tri-Star song. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, it's a little, there. that version, it's a little different. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I've only listened to it maybe about once, twice, three times tops. It's still good, but I feel like it's missing something. So I'm hoping that if they do decide to bring the Tri-Star song into, um, I, I got to one parade, which I, I'm guessing they are because it seems like 
this show is bringing every single freaking song plus brand new spanking songs um from every Aikatsu series from beginning to now because like the the newest Ichigo song like that wasn't in an OG Aikatsu I don't really remember that because if I would you know I would have said something but um because of the fact is I think the first time when that song came out I was like okay that's brand new because we've all never heard that before so I mean it's interesting I love the fact that it uses a lot of science. It, it it doesn't seem like in the beginning, maybe for the first eight episodes, it seemed like it was time travel-esque. But because of the fact is Rocky is going around and still using um, her experimental Aikatsu pass and she's connecting the world all together, it's still an experimental scientific experiment because she's the only one who can do this and use her Aikatsu pass. So I'm guessing she has to continuously still use it in order for um, Starlight Academy, um, well, okay, hold up. Let me just say it like this: I cut to I cut to stars, <clears throat> and I cut to friends, all really to be connected and stay connected. And for all these different girls who go to like four different schools, or essentially three, because you know, freaking Elsa has her own freaking school, and you would have assumed that like even, and I and I hope they kind of do this with her. Um, as much as I love the boat, because of the fact is we have all these worlds together in one big circle, but you're still able to go to places like New York, um, maybe even London, anywhere outside of it. Because the thing is, this is all in Japan, uh, predominantly, but they're always going to different places. So I'm guessing, I, I don't know, I can't really say anything about it because one minute Elsa could be at to sea and going somewhere else and then... A couple of seconds later, she's like in Aikatsu Friends World, or she's back in Aikatsu Stars World, or she's in OG Aikatsu. That's the biggest thing. I mean, I, I have no idea how this show is going to go, but every single moment, I am loving it more and more. I just now need the girls of, um, I think it's Dream Academy, to come in because they're the only girls as of right now, especially Seta, because Seta needs to come in because if it, we're already now in a nine episodes in. And since we've already seen every other girl from every other series except the Dream Girls, it, it just feels so weird. It feels like something is missing, and it's those four girls. So, I mean, who knows what the heck could happen in these, like, next episodes. Especially, we'll wait, wait until we get to the halfway point of this show, and that's going to be, like, episode 25 or 24. And to see, like, what her sister is going to be coming up what the new opening and ending is going to entitle because I hope like what they're going to do is continuously use the old, oh, not the old openings, the old endings, which they're still doing it, but they're still using the new ending that they've used since episode one for this show. But like at the same time, you're wondering how in the world this is going to work, but science, that's all I have to say is mother effing science. And that's the only way we're going to be able to figure this out is through science. I think Rocky's sister is really interesting and I think it's a really cool idea that she started doing this and that you know of the, all the people that she used she used to freaking sister because you know her sister is the only one who could be able to do this and to interact with all these idols but who knows what the heck could happen next I mean Elsa gave me like feels to when she met S4 and the Subasa route so you know there's gonna probably be some moments where maybe some of these other idols are possibly gonna bicker with each other but we ain't really gonna know other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of I Cut to One Parade if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like <clears throat> also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day <clears throat> join the Magical Squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Monday maybe Sunday for episode 10 bye guys Thank you.